Okay, today we are going to go through the steps of replacing the oil on a LC151. This particular pump doesn't have any oil in it, so we're just going to go through the steps so that you understand what all needs to happen. Three basic things we're going to accomplish today. We're going to drain the old oil, we're going to replace the old oil filter, and we're going to replace the exhaust filter. Step number one is you have to have a pan to catch the used oil positioned underneath the the uh, drain, drain plug. You may have to move your pump, you may have to do something to get a drain, to get a catch pan underneath your pump, but you have to accomplish that task. Once you've got that accomplished, a 10 millimeter Allen wrench will remove the drain plug. You have two plugs here. The bottom one is your drain plug, the top one is your fill plug. Simply take the 10 millimeter Allen wrench and totally remove the drain plug. Once the drain plug is completely removed, the oil will drain. Allow it to drain completely. Once it's completely drained, you can put the drain plug back in because you are literally finished with that part of the process. Once you do put it back, it torques down at 25 newton meters. So you will need a torque wrench to get that at the right torque. Once the oil, all the oil has drained out of there, you can put the plug back in and you are finished with that first step. Step number two, we've rotated the pump, we're now at the back end of the pump. There is an oil filter back in the back part of the pump. Basically looks very similar to what a car oil filter would look like. Um, just take your oil filter wrench, hook it on your filter, knock it loose, and remove it. Once you've removed it, there's an oil gasket, just like a car filter. You want to put a little bit of oil on that gasket so that it seals tight up against your pump. Put the new oil filter on there. Tighten it hand tight. Once it's hand tight, you can go a quarter turn more with your wrench. That's right. But you don't want to over tighten that. So it should be hand tight, maybe a quarter turn more than hand tight, and that is all there is to that. Remove the old filter, put the new filter on. Okay, step number three, we're going to remove the exhaust filter. The exhaust filter is on the top half of this tank. There's four five millimeter bolts that hold this together. So all you have to do is go in here and remove these four small bolts. This is spring loaded. That's what holds the, the uh, exhaust filter in place. So there is going to be tension on those bolts as you loosen them up. Four bolts got to come out all the way. Four bolts got to come out all the way. Once you got all four bolts out, the cover will come off. There is a spring in there and a little boss that holds the filter in place. These fit into this hole on the cover. There is a gasket which will come with your kit. This gasket should be replaced every time you do this. So, inside here is your exhaust filter. It pops right out. Now, on the front of the exhaust filter there is an arrow. 
That arrow designates the bottom part of the filter when it's in there. Secondary, there, the actual joint where the felt is joined together is actually the bottom of the filter. So either one of those two methods can be used to determine how to install the filter back in. The arrow is quite easy. You just follow the arrow. The arrow points down. So once you get the old exhaust filter out, you take the new exhaust filter, slide it in there. There's a recess in the back that it fits into. It'll just fun it's funneled into that recessed area. Once it's in the recessed area, it will sit on a little saddle in the cast aluminum. Make sure your arrow is pointing down. Replace your gasket. Line your bolts back up. And again, this is spring tension, so you have to push on it to get it in there. Well, I may not be all the way in here. There it is. Once you're all the way in, this cover will fit. If you're not all the way in, you won't be able to start the threads. These particular four bolts do not have a torque spec. Tighten them to what you would think is reasonable for a rubber gasket. There is no torque spec for this part of the process. I kind of like to alternate when I tighten any kind of scenario where there's spring or tension on something. I will go either in a crisscross pattern or star pattern depending on how many bolts there is. But try to keep this level as it's tightening so that that spring stays on that filter. Okay, so this is aluminum. Do not over tighten. But you want that nice and snug. There is no torque spec, so just nice and snug, and you are finished with that part. So we've changed the filter, we've changed the exhaust filter. We are now ready to fill our machine with oil. So the top plug is your fuel port. Again, it's the same process as the bottom one. You just simply remove the plug completely. Once the plug's out of the way, take your funnel and fill it with oil. Now, there's two markings on the front, front plate of this. There's a minimum and a max. So using your sight glass, pour the oil in to the middle, right between the minimum and the max. Stop right about there. I would highly recommend let the machine run for two, three hours. After it's ran for two, three hours, recheck your oil level. Turn the pump off, let it sit for a minute. Recheck your oil levels because you've got to fill that oil filter. You've got to get oil going through the pump. So it's actually going to consume some of that oil to fill that oil filter so your level is going to drop. So fill it to the, you can fill it to the max if you want and then let it run and then check it. You'll still need to add a little bit of oil or you can fill it to about the middle and check it in two hours and fill it to the middle again. It's probably safer just to go to the middle. You do not want to put too much oil in this pump so just be cautious of putting too much oil in there but you definitely do not want to run it with too little oil. So after two and a half hours, two hours, somewhere in that ballpark, turn the machine off, let the oil settle for a couple of minutes, check your oil level, and top it off.